What's up, you guys? So, I got a song before I start recording. It was Demi Lovato, Heart Attack. And I think that somebody here, they never thought they would fall in love. And I think that it's happening right now, or it's about to happen. It's about to shock the crap out of somebody. Because um, I got that song, and then I got this nine of emotions and ten of emotions that came out which are the nine and ten of cups which is basically like wish coming true wish fulfillment but maybe that wasn't your wish maybe you weren't expecting to fall in love or that's the energy towards you like they were not expecting to fall in love okay definitely not we got the devil coming out here at the bottom of the deck capricorn energy somebody's afraid of love i feel like yeah maybe you've been through a lot of cycles um, or people, toxic people, you know, people who are manipulative, um, deceitful. Maybe you dealt with people who were kind of, you know, narcissistic, toxic, things like that. So you just, for whatever reason, that could be the reason or whatever reasons you got, you just didn't want to fall in love. But guess what? <laughs> I think it's happening. Okay. Or this person didn't want to fall in love. That's what's going on here. All right, the goal originally was to block love. <laughs> That's funny, right? Okay. Well, I guess if it's you, it's not that funny. <laughs> All right, but um, yeah, no, nah, I don't think it's you. I think it's somebody who is uh, somebody that you're dealing with, okay? They seem to be watching you heavily. You could be talking with this person right now. I mean, I feel like there's contact going on. Uh, this is not no separation type reading here i don't feel like so far all right so we got a uh, gemini libra aquarius aries sagittarius and leo coming out as well as cancer pisces scorpio energy and now we got whoa <gasps> wow someone's intentions here someone's romantic intentions here are hidden Romantic intentions with the Knight of Emotions and the Two of Inspiration. And more of this watching energy. So, mm, I don't know if you know about this yet. I don't know because there's this. In so, this could be a separation situation for somebody or some of y'all. But for some of you guys, I think this feels like a crush. Or somebody is like, oh my gosh. And we had that... Um, the song that came out in the reading before this one was Monica Angel of Mine. And I feel like this could be significant here too. Because I feel like that reading had more than one message in it. It was mainly angel messages. But in, in like the back of my mind, it was like there's something else coming out about this angel of mine thing. So somebody's just basically looking at you like an angel. Like you levitate, you make wishes come true. Or you're their wish come true. Something like that. Um, Well, this is interesting, okay? Now, we got the High Priestess, the Four of Voices, and the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. It's like they're holding themselves back or, you know, like I said, they didn't want to fall in love. I think that's like a trigger for them. Feeling love for somebody feels like a trigger for this person. Yeah. So, with that Devil card that keeps coming out, I feel like they're afraid of love. It's like they lie to themselves about it almost or you know they've dealt with people like that but tell me more about this world cosmos energy okay so you could be somebody who dealt with um people like this and that's what it is you feel like you've ended all sight maybe you feel like i'm just done with love for right now okay well somebody's not done loving you it looks like okay tell me more about this world cosmos and the now nah, let's go back to this who is this secretly loving on whoever this is in the collective? Because there's something hidden here with the moon. The chariot, cancer energy. The priestess and the four of voices. Wow, this person could be dreaming about you. I do feel like that, yeah. There's some kind of dreaming or fantasizing going on here, okay? For sure. So, let's see. Let's get some from the Island Time deck to see what's going on. But I don't think I'm going to dip into the Kipper right now. This is 
No, we're going to keep it lightweight. Okay. <laughs> we're going to try to. Okay. So, I think you're very suspicious of people because of the people you've dealt with in the past. Like this fox energy, like clever fox energy. Okay. Like people you dealt with. You pick up on people's energies, but I don't know... Um, if you're around this person, because they seem to be watching from a distance, okay? Who is this uh, secret admirer? Y'all, watching from a distance, I'm telling you, stalking, okay? Hmm. Uh, this could be somebody you've ended things with. No, okay. N no, take that back, scratch that. So this is the thing. You you've gone through a relationship that was crap or this person did. That's over with. That's in the past. Now as you're rising from the ashes here, like rising from the ashes, okay? New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. No. <laughs> we're gonna disregard so far we're gonna disregard this. We're gonna try to keep it off of X energy, you know. But you know, y'all for y'all that resonates with that, that could be a renewed relationship but for some of y'all this is a completely new with cupid's arrow and lightning it's gonna be something that's would shock you if you knew how this person felt i feel like what is going on lightning what is this truth coming out here cupid's arrow what is this truth coming out the Grim Reaper. Okay. Girl talk, addiction, and sunglasses. All right. So, somebody really seems to be um, addicted to you. What did you do to this person? Okay. What did you do to this person? They are addicted here. It looks like you're single. Yeah, you don't. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see. I'm going to get some more tarot because there could be a couple of things going on here, but it looks like you're, so why, if you're out with friends, moving on, happily single, who is this watching, looking, and stalking? This is like somebody who has not told you how they feel yet. So for some, for some of y'all, it could be an ex situation. And for others of you, it's, it's not an ex situation at, at all. This is somebody that you don't even know has these feelings for you. But the only reason why that ex situation is coming up is because I feel like that you hold people at a distance because of the situation with the ex, whatever that situation was. You're not very trusting of people, or you could be dealing with somebody that's not very trusting of people. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Give me a couple more on this. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Love. I feel like this is new love coming in. Or it's trying to. Mirror and access indulgence. Okay. Let's see here. Um. I'm trying to figure out which deck I'm going to pull from, y'all. Well, let's get some more tarot, I believe. Let's get, yeah, let's get some more tarot. Right? Yeah. So, this secret admirer, what are their... Are they going to take any action towards whoever this message is for? The Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Look, they got their little hook. They trying to catch a heart out here, and it's yours. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is adorable, y'all. The Two of Cups. And look, with the Leo season energy here. Wow. Mm, this is going to shock you. You're about Somebody's about to fall in love. It's going to shock the crap out of them. And that's because you're... Somebody now, some of y'all. This is gonna be somebody coming in talking about you know, I, I my heart is just I can't. I'm gonna have a heart attack without you. You know, I can't take it. And this could be that. <laughs> no, look, this is that energy of you, like 
if you've heard the song before, is it Demi Lovato? Heart attack? I, I forgot, y'all, but I can't look because I'm recording on the phone that I um had it saved on. Okay, so it's like I'm also getting that for some of y'all when this Knight of Cups comes in, you're going to be... Cause, this duck or whatever this ostrich or whatever this bird is kind of looks like they're laughing like hard of mine. Uh-uh. No. Look. See, he's trying to come in with his little hook and his little suit and catch your heart. And you're like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> No. Who in the world is this? Oh. <coughs> Was this a frog to some of y'all? And y'all y'all just... <laughs> Are y'all running from this person like maybe you're not feeling it? Okay, so oh man. Okay, so we got the eight of wands, the hey man, and the nine of swords. You know what? I don't even feel like it's that necessarily. I think that this person is afraid of you rejecting them. And that that comes up a lot, but like some people have said in the comments like they need to get over it, like <laughs> which is understandable. And if you're that person who is you got all these feelings for somebody and you know, what's the worst that could happen? You tell them how how you feel and either, you know, they're like, "Oh, well that's awesome. I feel the same way about you." Or they're like, "I'm not really feeling you." So, either way, you're changing the whole scenario. You get to move forward with them or you get to move on and not worry about them anymore because they're not apparently not the one. Either way, you're progressing here with the eight of wands. Yeah, so I'm here for somebody out here because this is, there's two sides to every story. One side, there's somebody who doesn't even realize they're being watched, I feel like. Then there's another person here who, I don't know if you're maybe waiting on this other person to message you or you're afraid to message this person or like I said, that's this person's energy. So, but I just feel like anybody that's um, waiting on some, that comes through a lot. That's the only reason why I'm saying that, y'all. Y'all know you've seen that a lot where it's like, uh, it comes through in the readings like they they're afraid you're gonna reject them and all this stuff so yeah <laughs> the ace of swords yeah somebody's all up in their head worried about getting rejected here feeling like a donkey i know that's a horse but i was trying to say uh i'm not gonna say it <laughs> i was trying to say a, a word that was gonna get me flagged so i ain't gonna say it okay so the Ace of Swords with the Chariot, the Queen of Swords. This person, ooh, this person is so in love with you with the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But they are afraid that you are going to cut them with your words. <laughs> They're afraid that you are going to hurt their feelings. Y'all could be very different here with the cats being one black, one white. You could be very different, different culture, ethnicity. Or, you know, something. Opposite uh, zodiac signs or something like that. Oh my gosh. These cards are so adorable, y'all. This deck is the uh, Curi the Tarot of Curious Creatures by Chris Ann. She's the same one who made the um, Muse Tarot deck, which I was using in the beginning. And the Lightseer's Tarot, if you guys are interested in her. Okay, in her decks. Hold on a second. Did she illustrate these two? I just want to make sure I don't leave out an illustrator because this deck is so beautiful. Okay. All right. So, I, I usually get my decks at um, Second and Charles, you guys. Also, if you have one of those in your area. Okay. So, let's see here. This person just thinks that you're going to hurt their feelings. Or maybe you feel like that. Okay, so in case you are the person that is holding back and you you fear that this person is going to hurt your feelings, let's see. What will happen if you uh, reach out to this person? Now, this is general, you guys, so take that into consideration. And anything that comes up in a tarot reading that you don't like, even if you feel it's for you, you can change that right then. Like, okay, no, it's not going to happen like this, okay? <laughs> Two of 
changing your thought and one action will change the whole outcome of anything you don't like. So, let's see here. So, give me uh, what will happen if this person reaches out to the person that they are you know, not reaching out to because they're afraid of rejection, if that's the case. Okay, so we got the page of wands. Um, that looks like you're going to get a message in return. Things are going to come together here with the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so, we got the four of swords on the bottom of the deck here. Let's see, what will happen? Um... So, we got the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. You, If you are this person who's holding back and afraid to reach out to this person, I feel like it's, things are going to start moving in the right direction. The Ten of Cups is like happiness and wish fulfillment. Um, should I get a couple more on that? Yeah. Okay. Give me a couple more. What is this Ten of Cups? So we got the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. I'm not going to go too deep into the bottom of the deck. Three, two, and nine. Give me a second, y'all. Let's get some more. What's this Nine of Wands? Oh, somebody married maybe with the Hierophant coming out or is somebody a Taurus? Man, it's like somebody's like, I don't have the strength. I can't do it. Why? Okay, well, it could be because somebody's married. So, man, I don't know what to tell you about that. Yeah, I can understand. Or either they're married, okay, with this Ace of Swords coming out. So, so y'all, <laughs> look, y'all could have somebody out here that's like all in love with you and stuff, but you're married, they're married, or something, you guys. So, yeah. So if that is the case, now that's not gonna be everybody's case. Um, for some of y'all, it's gonna lead to marriage because you got the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. And something coming together here. But this Nine of Wands, it's like something... It's almost like with this Nine of Wands, I'm getting that you stop yourself. Or this other person keeps stopping themselves. Hmm. Let's get from the Modern Mystic Angels deck. Oh, okay, look. All right, now, the angel of curiosity Ask more questions. That makes sense, y'all. So now, if somebody's acting strange right now, okay, and, and if you're the one who's, who's really falling in love and then somebody started acting strange maybe here, that could be the case with this ask more questions, okay? Um, everybody's scenario is going to be different. This is a general reading. Keep that in mind. But let's see. Uh, the angel of curiosity asks more questions. Inquisitive, inquisitiveness is the foundation of a fulfilling life. Ask the angel of curiosity to help open your mind. If you aren't interested in any opinions but your own, if your mind is closed, if you think you know all the answers, your life will lack purpose. Curiosity brings excitement and it is what makes you feel truly alive. Allow the angel of curiosity to fill you up with the wonder of a child again and help you see the world as a place of endless discovery and enlightenment. Be curious about yourself. Who are you? What matters to you? What do you... You know, I just heard a horn honk when I said that. 
Who are you and what matters to you? Something important here about goals and things coming together. That's coming up a lot today, it seems like. Okay, about think, really thinking about who you are, what you want to do, and you know what makes you happy, things like that. These two, both these two of wands cards are bringing up, you know, really focusing on you and your dreams, wishes, goals. Now you may already be doing that, and if you are, great. There's somebody around you possibly that's got you on their mind that's in a little darker of an energy, possibly. All right, so um, let's see. Um. Allow the angel. Uh, okay, be encouraged by. What do you want to dis discover more about? Get curious about others too, and that's what this card looks like today. What? Why do they behave the way they do? What can you learn from them? Seek out perspectives that are different from your own. Focus on asking questions rather than finding answers. When, some, when something is known, the learning and evolution stops. Never, ever stop asking why. Now, you know, that really does go along with these cards here. Why do they behave the way they do? Like the wounded warrior. Why does the wounded warrior behave the way they do? Why does the queen of swords, you know, angry like she is sometimes? <laughs> or, you know any other energies in the tarot why do they why is this person an addict or codependent you know wow it's like really empathizing with others i think trying to understand and learn with the hierophant here and learning from others with this ace of wands wow that's just really coming together y'all that's that's beautiful it's like you're you're on this <laughs> i think that you are you're on this journey where you're seeing you know yourself and everyone else you are what you need the angel of attraction wow i love her hair love their hair all right well should i read this one i'll do it quick you are what you need shine a light on the people and things you are attracting into your life light seeks light if you don't value yourself the people in your life will reflect this lack of self-worth ask yourself if the people you spend time with mirror the things you admire and love in yourself is there a balance of giving and taking in those relationships let the angel of attraction help you to be truthful with yourself if your close relationships are not supportive you need to reevaluate them or find ways to bring greater balance into them. Bear in mind that attraction is not just about not just expressing your relationships, but also through the energetic power of your thoughts, feelings, and most important of all, your actions. If you feel low, counteract that by doing something positive. Actions always speak louder than words when it comes to attracting good things into your life. Wow. You guys know y'all know something with tarot? When you really, really, really when you start to use tarot to look more at yourself than at anybody else and figure out yourself more than anybody else, all the things that it really does help you to attract into your life, everything, it'll let you know if you're in this energy here. <laughs> so, or any of the energies that aren't great, it'll let you know it. Um, even like if you're not into reading your own tarot, even watching like general readings and stuff, if you sometimes just think to yourself or I do it every time I which I don't watch, watch a lot of readings now but I do watch them but I try to think okay am I the am I the one in this reading that's kind of you know the one who's stuck or hasn't got things figured out or whatever it is and and if I'm not then I use that as a learning experience for another time like okay so I see that this person that was coming up in this reading what happened with them so if I encounter that problem in the future, I mean, if it's a good reader, it'll help you with future things, too. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying, I believe. All right, so let's get one from the affirmation deck, and we'll close this out. You guys, next I'm going to do um, one for the Facebook subscribers. If y'all are interested on YouTube with me starting a, a membership or something, let me know where I just like put out a couple of readings a month just for the subscribers 
okay i'll get deeper with it further i go but for now that's that's what i got time to do <laughs> okay so habit and time all right habit is often said that the secret to our success is hidden within our daily routines for all big things are really just the sum of a million little things done consistently done diligently over time and how beautiful it is to know that we have the power to create our reality one short day at a time one simple choice at a time one sweet thought at a time so tell me now can you see how your habits are creating your reality today okay so what i'm getting with this where's that ten of cups so with that what i'm getting with this is like if you're the person that's thinking about somebody but you you're not reaching out to them and I know that's not a lot of y'all. That you're a lot of y'all might be in the other position. Um, okay, but whichever side you're on. So if you're in the position of, well, if you know they haven't reached out, this, that, and the other. Well, it's like this: reach out to them. If they don't respond or respond in a way that's hurtful to you, it's like, bye, bon voyage, and on to your ten of cups. You're creating your own reality. Don't let nobody hold you in place, please. Okay. So, um, sometimes we can even be in the habit of dealing with people that hurt us or dealing with people who are unavailable, uh, different things like that. That's these different cycles that we got to break when it's like, okay, what am I, what's going on here? What is this reflecting back to me about myself? You know? All right. So let's see time too often. It feels as though the hours turn to days, the days turn to months. The months turn to years, and suddenly the days of our lives have passed in the blink of an eye. But perhaps there is a reality, one where we don't think of time as something separate to us. What if, in fact, time is actually a product of us? What if, then, it is time that originates from us and not the other way around? It is when we start to realize that we are one with time when the magic happens. All right, that's it for this one, you guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Love y'all. Bye-bye.